All right, what do we got today? This little mini uh, wet dry vac, Porter Cable. Got a model number PCX1812-5P. Apparently it gets wet when it rains. That weighs always up and you only do four of them. Let's check this thing out. Ooh, through the magic of the internet. Ta-da! We got parts in here. Ta-da! Some parts. Oh look, here's a hose. Got a hose too. Uh, and we got a mount. Ooh, custom modified already. I wonder why I did that. Well, let's find out, kids. We're gonna do, uh, let's get a screwdriver ready. Let's do the screwdriver. Does that look like a good, should we use that? That's a tecton. Okay, what are we doing today? We're gonna mount this thing. We're gonna mount this thing in this, in this forever home. Now you may say, what would you use such a little tiny vacuum cleaner for? Well, for vacuuming things. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been through the, hey, I want a giant shop vac. I got one, had a couple actually. And uh, you know what's awesome about giant shop vacs? They hold a lot of stuff. But no, it's not awesome. They take up a lot of room. So, <laughs> basically the only time I've ever used a giant shop vac and was excited about its large capacity is like cleaning a flood up, if you will. And uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of cleaning floods. So let's go ahead and see what it takes just to clean up a little debris in the old garage here. So what I did is I did a little complex math, dee ba da ba doo dee ba da ba dee and I figured out if I take this screw here, I believe, and I screw right into this pegboard, which is old school metal pegboard. Hopefully the camera angle is just getting, just my arm only. Can I readjust this to the side a little bit? Is that still working? Yeah, there we go. It should have enough bite there to actually hold firm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Take this one. This one actually lined up perfect. Get that guy in. This is where I would uh, edit fast forwarding, but uh, since I don't do editing, just fast forward in your mind. Ding! Oh, that snugs up real nice. Unfortunately, these two holes did not line up. This is what they sent you. Yeah, don't disregard the thumb. That's my thumbnail falling off. Uh, they gave you some plugs. Don't need the plugs, we're just gonna go ahead. I, what I did is I took a round file and I just opened those up a little bit. I should be able to make this grab, let's let's find out. I actually didn't check, I probably should have, but it didn't seem quite as authentic if I uh, checked first, right? I did do the setup, and I adjusted up and down. What, what I wanted was it so it would barely come out. I don't need it to come out like super good, I just need it to come out when it needs to. Like basically what happened, like the reason, this kind of came up with a conversation I had with my father, like years ago, I was trying to figure out a present to buy my dad, and he's hard to buy for, he's kind of the guy that if he needs it, he just buys it himself. Well, we do our own car detailing, and our own car washing and stuff, so like always trying to get him like nice car wash stuff and car detailing things. So for one year, I bought him a really expensive small vacuum, and I told him, here's the deal. It was, a, it was a little bit bigger than this one. I said, here's the deal. This is for only detailing your car. Don't take it to a job site. Don't, don't do construction or whatever. Just, just like, leave it something nice for yourself. Well, that didn't last. But he does like it. So let's see how this works. So this, the, way, the way this thing works is, there's no wheels. It's just a little canister guy. And what we're going to hope for, the, the math was done correctly. So we're going to go up here. Bump, bump, bump. Look at that. The only problem is, that hose X... How does that work? How does that work? I guess you put it on backwards. I guess that's actually how you how you do it. Let me adjust this up. Did I just film that whole thing wrong? Oh my god. So it's got a, a threaded hose. Close that on. Okay, that's that. Now, did I leave enough length to get to a power outlet? I mean, that's a hundred thousand dollar question right there. I mean, the idea is, I think that you're supposed to. Uh... Oh yeah, I got room. Let's fire her up and see what she, how she sounds. Oh yeah, that just blows air right there. That's kind of sucky. Let's see, can we rotate this thing? It binds there. So what's happening is. These little clips are hitting. Or maybe it's, I don't know. 
I mean, it definitely can't go that way because the hose hit the wall. Can it go? Can it go this way? Let's see. I gotta go that way. Rotate down. Yeah, it can go all sorts of different ways. How about this? How about let's get the power cord over that? Pick it up over that way. Oh, there we go. Now we're now we're cooking with oil. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yep, just like that. Came with uh, one of them guys there, and one of these guys here. So let's see if I can clean up some sawdust from the other day with this thing. Oh, that's right. That's right. Good suction. So I think it also has a little bit of onboard storage. If you kind of look, oops, sorry, I just filmed what I wasn't supposed to film. That's fine. Let's pull this thing out. If you look back here, there's a there's a little guy. Kind of not sure how you're supposed to actually deploy it like that. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I feel like maybe they didn't quite design this thing to go on the wall like you think it would. Like, I don't know what these detents are for. There's no, there's no key. I'm a little, I'm a little tight, but just, just you know, evens on. It's just, I don't know if that's the way I want it. I mean, that's backwards, but like, there's, there's literally no way that can go that way. Not with the hose connected. You know what I mean? I mean, sometimes, can we, oh, and she stores up too. How about that? <laughs> How about that? I mean, it's just a little task. I mean, my goal was to, can, we, can I go this way with it? I can get the whole, I can get the whole workbench here. And that's gonna work. And then obviously you can uh, pop it out and take it with you. Now I've read some reviews as it falls over real, real easy. I don't think this is the kind of vacuum where it's like I have a large task and I need to get something accomplished. You know, it's like, oh, uh, I had mud on my shoe and now it's in the floorboard of my car. You just grab that thing. It's, just, it's almost like a little hand vacuum, but it's got a nice little forever home now. So that's cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I mean, I don't know what the... They got a three-year warranty. Should we check out the manual here? It's kind of weird that, like, I mean, whatever. Let me, let me pull this back out again. It's kind of weird that, like, it's oriented. It looks like it would be oriented to go this way, you know. But I don't think there's really any way without completely taking it apart. Well, let's see. Can we do this? Let's see if we can flip this thing 180. Maybe I can get my brag badge out. I was gonna say it's like it doesn't say porter cable. Let's see if we can spin this thing 180 degrees. We'll see if it's if it's if it's capable. You can also check out how the filter system looks. Oh yeah, it's a it's a super fancy filter, like paper. All right, we're gonna turn that brag badge around. See if she snaps back on. Oh yeah! Well, that's just as good as it well, you could ever hope for now. There, that solved everything. I got my brag badge out. Oh, can't see it because the hose is in the way. Yeah, that's good enough right there. That's what I was worried about. I was like, who's going to know I'm rocket supporter cable, dude? I mean, I probably ought to figure out a better way to do all this. Can that thing rotate a little bit? Oh, yeah, that's, that's rotatable. Oh, man, there's just so many choices on this as far as how to store it. Let's see. We can, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. You rotate that hose in there and then you that free clamps. Is that going to be cool like that? Oh, why? Let's aim down and aim the back of my arm. I don't know. It's cool. It's out of the way. It's small. It's powerful enough. It's going to it's gonna work. Uh, we were going to check this out. There's a parts list.
troubleshooting. In case anyone wants to read this, they can pause. Care and maintenance. Operating instructions. Pretty sure if you do liquid, you gotta take that paper thing off. Bunch of warnings. That's what it comes with. Hose, that thing, that thing. Foam, wall, paper with the ring. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty basic. Whatever, Porter Cable, that's cool. Stay safe.